Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to Arbin Hardware. In today's video, we're gonna check out my mid-2020 CPU buying guide. And if you think it's hard picking the right processor for your next gaming PC, then you've come to the right video. Today, I'm listing the top best CPUs for gaming mid-2020. If you find anything you like, every item is linked up down below. Now, this guide is mainly for you that plan on either upgrading your rig or building a completely new gaming system and you want to pair your CPU with a beefy graphics card. Now, there's a few things here I think about as I'm making these guides. I always want your PC to last as long as possible. That is why you sometimes see me pick a cheaper SSD over a cheaper processor for my gaming PC builds, and I always try to hit that price and performance curve. Lastly, I also look at availability because there is no reason recommending a CPU that's been out of stock for a long time. Anyway, after building computers for over 15 years, these are my top recommendations. Let's start with 300 dollar budgets and work our way up. So if you're planning on spending no more than $300 for your next gaming PC, I pre count for motherboard, a case, RAM and SSD, that should leave you with around $50 to perhaps $70 over for the processor. That gives us a couple of dual core options from both AMD and Intel, which honestly isn't really that future proof and at this budget, I rather recommend you having a look at the used market, but if you do insist on building a new system, System. I recommend the $49 dual core Athlon 3000G sporting a Vega graphics, but you don't want to expect too much of this in terms of graphics horsepower. Still, if $300 is your budget, this $50 ship is the best one that you can pick. Link can be found down below. Moving on to the much more exciting $400 to $500 budget. If you got about $500 for your next gaming PC build, that should leave you with at least double the amount for your processor, and at this budget, yet the AMD Ryzen 3 3200G would be the obvious pick coming in at 99 bucks. Now this third gen APU comes with 8 Vega graphics which as we can see does both Rocket League and Doom pretty well. Now that being said the ultimate choice of $500 would be the Ryzen 5 3400G but this is $50 more and it makes it hard to include here but yeah I do recommend spending that $50 extra as the 3400 400G got SMT and it offers for more threads stand against the 3200 which upcoming games are gonna take more advantage of and as we transition into a new console generation both Series X and PS5 got plenty of cores and threads. Now the 3400G is not included on the list here but in terms of CPU performance it is about 5% faster in single core load and about 35% faster in multi core stand against the 3200G. Last tip here guys, although the Ryzen 1600 can be hard to find, if you're able to snag one for around 100 bucks, you've got about $50 over for the graphics card on the used market and that should give you plenty of gaming performance as well. Now moving on to $600 to $700 budgets. Now at $600 with an MSRP of $120, AMD's brand new Zen 2 based 30 Ryzen 3300X is the obvious pick and a personal favorite and I even included it in my recent $600 PC build linked up down below. Unfortunately, yeah, it seems like it's out of stock everywhere, making it very hard to recommend. Thankfully though, Intel just released Comet Lake and nowadays the Core i3 CPUs are quads, making the 10,100 the best pick at the $600 target. With a budget of $700, I would either pick the 6-core Sun Plus based 2600 at $140 or better yet the Sun 2 based 3600. Both are 6-core and 12-thread parts but the 3600 is obviously better. Here's how I look at it. If your budget allows you to pick a slightly better CPU without having to impact the budget for the graphics card, I would pick the 3600 7 days a week. But that being said, the 2600 is still a very good choice if your budget is very strict. And if it stands between the two, yeah, the 2600 would be my pick. Now between $8 and $900, there's not a whole lot going on. So for this specific budget, I would say the 30 
3600 will be your pick. With that said, let's move on to the 4 digit mark. Now when I calculate for my PC builds, I always tend to spend most of my budget on the CPU and the graphics. I like to spend a bit extra here because these two parts are from a gaming point of view, the PC parts that carry the most importance. What if you decide that you want to upgrade your monitor to let's say a faster 144Hz 4K monitor in the future that would most likely require a beefier graphics card. In this scenario you don't want to be forced to upgrade your CPU at the same time because it's too slow. That is why it's nice to have a bit of headroom in terms of CPU performance. With that said guys at $1000 either a 6 core or an 8 core is what you want to aim for here and picking the 8 core and 2 based Ryzen 3700X will have you sitting safe for a long time. Now this CPU is however a bit more expensive and it's generally for you that is sitting on a budget beyond a thousand dollars. In case you happen to be interested in overclocking, then the Intel Core i7 9700K priced at $325 would be my best bet here. All CPU being mentioned here guys are linked up down below. Now, if you happen to watch this video in December or even later, in these next gen Zen 3 based Ryzen 4000 will be out and I would recommend having a look at my late 2020 CPU buying guide instead. Now if you like this video make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up and let me know what other PC guides you would like to see coming up next.